Uh, now there is only one thing keeping you from the lunch break, and it's my own presentation. And uh, in this presentation, I'm going to try to find the answer to the question, are all data scientists nerds? Uh, it's quite a simple question, but I will use uh, the results of the data innovation survey for that. You know, it's a questionnaire that you all filled out in order to have the discount for your ticket of today. So uh, that will be uh, my data source. Um, but let me start with a question for you. Do you know what is the second hit on Google when you type in data scientist? No? The first hit, it's the definition on Wikipedia. But the second hit, it's the sexiest job of the 21st century. <laughs> Honestly? Do you agree with this? Because when I used to tell people that I worked as a data scientist, they looked at me a bit strangely, and then they said, really? But you look quite normal. You're not nerdy at all. So I think we need to admit that data scientists are still often associated with nerds. But what is a nerd? So again, on Wikipedia, I found the definition. So a nerd is a person who is overly intellectual, obsessive or socially impaired. They may spend inordinate amounts of time on unpopular, obscure or non-mainstream activities. Stereotypical nerds are commonly seen as intelligent, but socially and physically awkward. Some interests and activities that are likely to be described as nerdy are topics related to science, mathematics, engineering and technology. Does any of this ring a bell to you? So I decided to investigate five, stere five stereotypes uh, that are associated with data scientists. First one, all data scientists are young males. Second one, they're all in front of their PC all night. Third one, all data scientists are holding a PhD in science or mathematics. Fourth one, data scientists are all loners without any social skills. And then the last one, they're all programming geeks and they all use these strange non-mainstream techniques. Let's get started with the first one. All data scientists are young males. Well, according to the questionnaire you all filled out, there were only 15% of females. Yeah. I think the speakers of today did not reply to the survey. And uh, also, more than 50% of the data scientists are below 35. Okay, next one. Are all data scientists uh, behind their PC all night? In the results of the survey, there was a timestamp indicating at what time people replied. <laughs> And um, as I do have some data scientist skills, I extracted the hour of the day uh, out of the timestamp, substring function. And um, so this, is what, this was the result. To my big surprise, almost nobody replied during the night. And look at the peak at 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock in the morning. So this is when you're in front of your PC. So actually, data scientists seem to be early birds. And then the third one, do all data scientists hold a PhD in science or mathematics? And actually, only 15% uh, is holding a PhD. So we do have some doctors in the room here. But the top one study field was engineering. And then only on the second place, there was science and mathematics, followed by ICT. But look, we also have some commercials and even some social scientists in the room. And then the fourth one, are all data scientists loners without any social skills? Or are they all locked up in some IT room in a basement somewhere, talking only to their PC? Well. Uh, 
in the results of the survey, it was mentioned that 60% of the data scientists have management responsibilities to a certain extent. And management responsibilities, well, at least to me, it implies a certain degree of social skills. Or at least it should, right? <laughs> and then the last one, are all data scientists programming geeks who only use mainstream techniques? Well, in the questionnaire, uh, there were 22 different skills and techniques listed, and people had to rate them. They had to give uh, a measure between one and five on how familiar they were with that specific skill or technique. And to my big surprise, the number one skill with the highest rating of the data scientists was communication. Huh? So communication is a top skill of the data scientists, followed by a bit more obvious uh, data manipulation. And then on the third place, there was business. And it's only at the very end that we find the rather non-mainstream techniques like backend programming and spatial statistics. So this leads me to the conclusion that indeed, Data scientists are not as nerdy as they are sometimes perceived. And we can conclude that data scientist is the sexiest job. Huh? So far, the good news. Huh? The bad news is that as they are so sexy, the data scientists, companies have difficulties in recruiting them. And the other thing is that in Belgium, there is no formal training program available that is uh, getting data scientists ready for the job. But fortunately, for every problem, there is a solution. So together with Philippe and the data science community, we decided to create the DI Academy, the Data Innovation Academy. And that's a training center for data scientists, their managers, and trainees. So we're offering different kind of trainings uh, for data scientists uh, next week. There is a training scheduled on Spark data frames. There is a coached MOOC on TensorFlow. And there is also a training scheduled on Bayesian statistics. For their managers, we also have some trainings. Uh, in two days, there is Professor Martine Georges, who is uh, going to give a lecture on her first 100 days as head of a data science team. Yeah. There are still a few seats available, so if you are quick, uh, then you can still register for the training. And for the trainees, we have a special uh, program in place, uh, because this summer, we're, or we're organizing a boot camp. And, um, we're doing this because uh, some major Belgian companies have contacted us because they have difficulties to find data scientists. And we are going to create a pool of candidates with young graduates and then the companies can choose their preferred candidate from that pool and then they will send him to the boot camp. The boot camp will take 12 weeks and uh, two days a week on Monday and Tuesday there will be classes. Then the next two days, the trainee can go back to his new company to work on data science projects. And then on Friday, he can come and work at the Data Innovation Hub here next door. And um, he will be coached by experienced data scientists. So if you want to know more about that, you can find all the information on our brand new website, di-academy.com. Uh, you definitely should follow us on Twitter because there are lots of interesting tweets. And if you have any questions, just send it to training at diacademy.com and we will be happy uh, to answer you. So thank you very much. And now I would like to give the word to Philippe.